it's me Maddie and today we're going to do this flapper look from a black and white movie. Don't you just want to be this pretty? Well if you want to, you can stay tuned. Let's get on to the video. So I'm taking a snazaroo color in the color white and I'm taking a sponge and I'm just placing that all over my face. And you might be wondering, Maddie, why are you wearing these weird yellow contacts. It's okay because I put in the wrong contacts and I figured it out later, so it's fine. <laughs> This is when I realized that I put in the wrong contacts, so. So now I put in the right contacts, but now I'm taking a foundation brush in the white snazzaroo color from before, and I'm painting that all over my face, and then I use a makeup sponge that I used before just to pat it down to create the streakings to go away. And make sure to apply that color in any exposed skin. I have my arms, my chest, my face, and my hands open and be able to see, so I'm going to paint those. I'm applying two coats so the white is opaque and it's not translucent so you can't see my skin tone under. And make sure if you're having issues with it being streaky to use a sponge. And you might be wondering why are your hands not colored? It's because I don't want to touch everything and then get white paint everywhere. It's not good. Now I'm taking NYX jumbo pencil in milk and I'm just filling my waterline. So I'm using this black shade to start off with and I'm putting that in my cheekbones and my temples. And I switch between this black shade and the gray shade from the same palette to create an even shadow and a nice gradient effect. I'm using this big fluffy brush to blend it out further. This look has a lot of layering between the black and the gray to create the depth that you want. So you're going to find yourself going between the black and the gray very often. You're not just going to apply black and then it'd be fine. The gray kind of adds a more gradient effect to go into the white. And now I'm contouring my nose. Now take an eye primer, and this one is Too Faced in Candlelight. You can use any primer though, and I'm taking the black from before and I'm creating a very circular shape on my eye to give that natural vintage 1920 authentic look. Just make sure that it is very rounded, no sharp edges. And make sure when you're doing this to apply it to your bottom lid and to leave the center of your lid very clear and white. And if you're having some troubles with that white on the center of your lid not being very white, you can apply white back onto it. Now I'm using a brown and I'm kind of laying it where the black is. And you might be, this is a black and white makeup. I'm actually adding some warmth into the look so it doesn't look as flat as a black and white picture. It's because you don't want to lose the dimension that you have. So now I'm using the white eyeshadow again 
and I'm applying that on the highlight to my face just to bring those out more. So now I'm taking a black face paint by Woof and I'm applying that to my eyebrows. And the traditional eyebrow shape in the 1920s was a very thin, high arched eyebrow. Mine is not as arched as in the 1920s, but it is very, very close. It's not as skinny as the 1920s because I still want it to look a little bit more modern. So I'm taking a black pencil and I'm applying that onto my lips. And in the 1920s, they had very, very sharp cupid bows. And if you might be wondering, why did the white on your eyeballs disappear? It's because I tried to do something with my bottom lid and then I kind of messed it up. So now I'm taking a black lipstick and I'm taking a lip brush. In my case, I'm just using a normal art brush that you'd get at your craft store. But I'm applying the lipstick on my lips and using the brush to further define the line. and Make sure it is very clean and sharp. So now I'm taking the white Snazaroo paint from before and I'm using it to clean up the edges of my lips. So now I'm taking some lashes and I'm going to apply those on my upper lids. Using the lash glue, I'm waiting a few seconds for it to get tacky and then applying it to your eye, making sure it is very close to the lash line as possible. taking an eyelash curler and curling my lashes. I'm using Tarte's mascara and applying that on my lashes. Now I'm taking the white from before and just applying that to fix it. And I'm taking a black shadow from before and I'm applying that under my lids again as well because I kind of messed it up, so it's fine. If you didn't mess it up, you don't have to do this step. It was a great step not to take, but I messed it up. So now I'm using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I'm applying fake eyelashes on the bottom. And this is where I failed the first time, so. So now I'm using the same colors from before and I'm contouring my neck muscles and my collarbones. And an easy way to contour your neck muscles is to move your head in different directions. Moving on to hair, and my hair has been setting all video as you saw before, but now I'm taking my duck bill clips and I'm taking those out and then I'm going to take bobby pins and I'm going to pin up my hair so it is shorter. Depending on how long your hair depends on how many pins you may need, but I have relatively short hair so it worked out. And then I'm going to take the duck bill clips again and I'm going to reapply them to my hair just to give that finger wave. And I'm going to reapply them and then I'm going to apply a lot of hairspray to them to get them tacky and for them to set. And I'm going to wait for them to set for about 10 minutes. And the pattern for an S wave or finger wave is to have some going forward and then back and then forward and back. So it's just kind of like a snake. So now I'm using the black face paint from before and I'm painting that on my hair. And I'm painting it on the roots and anywhere where there's a shadow with the black.
I'm taking the white from before and I'm placing that on the body of my hair. And my hair was being kind of difficult, so I used an airbrush paint in white by Muds Cosmetics. Now I'm applying accessories to my look, and you're done. And you're done. Now you are this. Whoa, how'd you do that? You look great. But make sure to follow me on other social medias. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And I would like to tell you that this is actually my entry for the 2016 Nick Space Awards. I hope I get in the top 30. I really hope you guys enjoyed.